everybody. Welcome to Beautiful Blooms. My name is Kathy. My Facebook group is Floral Class with Kathy with a K A T H Y with Kathy with a K, okay? Um, today I thought I would um, help you guys put together some beautiful faux flower arrangements. In, um, I hear all the time I have no talent. I don't know where to begin. I can't do it. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, all those assumptions about yourself are completely wrong. A lot of times people say, well, I don't even know where to start. I'm going to tell you right now where you start. Go to the craft store and get a handful of greeneries, five or seven flowers, and a little container. Maybe you can get a container at your thrift store. Maybe you have one at home. And come home and just watch some videos and get some a, a few tips, tricks, and techniques will have you designing like a pro in no time, I promise you. But that's where you get started. You just go blindly and get your stuff and just come home and learn a little bit about it, some very basic techniques, and you can do it. And that's where we get started, okay? And then when you say you don't have any talent, that's not true either. I don't have, I don't feel that I have any natural born given talent for floral design, but I work at it. I've um, had mentors, I've had encouragers, I've uh, watched, I don't even, can't even tell you how many tutor video tutorials, floral tutorials, but uh, sometimes people have natural uh, given talent and that's a great blessing, but for those of us that don't, you can work at it and you can become talented at whatever you enjoy doing, okay? So what I wanna tell you guys right now to help you get started, if you go to your craft store, you'll find bundles of flowers. It's, do you see the stem right here? All of these flowers right here, can you see it? All of these flowers, little, little flowers I have right here in front of me, I've cut them off this little stem, but this was one bunch of flowers right here on this big stem. They were all on here and they go all the way to the top. And on each one of these, there was, I found out there was like 15 or 16 branches of these little flowers. Now these flowers, at your local craft store when you can find these on sale 40% off okay for example this one was $11.99 for this whole bunch of flowers and I got it 40% off so I paid $7.20 for this whole bundle of flowers so you can go to your craft store you can see it sitting there like waiting on you just pick this up and bring it home and I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do with these there's lots and lots of things you can do with this little bundle you don't have to just bring this whole thing home and just jam it down in a vase and say there I did it and that would look pretty if you did it because look at all these blooms they are so beautiful but with a few tips and tricks and techniques you can be like I said designing like a pro so I encourage you to go and get your supplies and come home and make something beautiful Okay, so all of these were on this branch, and you can see here, I've already, I've already been cutting them off. I just snipped them off with my, my wire cutters. I've just been cutting these off. So I have a, um, just like, and always cut your uh, stems at an angle, okay? Because you want it to go down into your dry foam easily at a sharp angle. And this tip will be very sharp, and it will go very nice into your dry floral foam, okay? Tip number one right there. Okay, so I have cut these up because I'm gonna do projects with them, but you see that this came in a bunch of flowers. And you don't even have to think about color coordinating because the designer of this bouquet has already color coordinated these for you. These colors all go together. It's so easy for you, okay? All right, so the first thing I wanna do, I thought I might go ahead and get this one out of the way because I wanna work on something else, but I just have, happen to have this little white base and it's about, it's about eight inches tall and when you're making your arrangement you can make it up to one and a half times the height of your container okay or you can make it smaller okay but what I thought I might do with this one I just um, took this dry floral foam just a recycled piece and I just put it right down in there and normally I would get my hot glue and I would put it in the bottom and I would stick this on there and I'd hold it for a minute because you want it to be nice tight and firm but for this quick um, tutorial on this piece we're just gonna stick it in there and I'm just gonna give you an example okay so that we can move on to something else but I have these big beautiful blooms right here and the stems were too short so I've showed you this in a video before but uh, the stem was only about that big because I had used these for other things so all I did um, I can show you again Let's see if I have my my wire How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing great today. 
it's a beautiful evening. The sun is shining. It's about 2 p.m. here in Texas. Well, where is my wire? I'm so sorry, at the moment I do not know. Oh, here it is right here. Okay, and this is floral wire. When you're out picking up your supplies, make sure and get some dry foam, some floral wire, and you will need a pair of scissors and also um, the wire cutters. I just got these out of my husband's truck because they work better than the ones that I had bought. Okay, so to make that stem, if it's not long enough and you wanna use it, because we don't waste any of our flowers, I say save everything because you will be using that. To do this, um, I made a stem for this one. You can probably see it. All you have to do is um, put a stick on there, any kind of stem that you have, and then just um, twist your your uh, floral wire all around that, like this, like really tight. I should have cut that off. You just twist it around there really, really tight, like that, okay? And then, um, so I'm making a new stem for this and I'm twisting it really, really tight. And then what you'll want to do if I wanted this to be longer, I just put a stem on there, wrap the floral wire all around that. And then I might need some, um, excuse me. Okay, so, well, I apologize. I don't have my floral foam tape out here at the moment, but I wanted to show you that. So you just get your, um, excuse me for a sec, because I do want to show you this. I don't want y'all to miss anything. This is um, a foam floral wire, and I use it a lot, so you do want to pick up a roll of this when you're out and about, okay? All right, and this is sticky. It's quite sticky on both sides. So all I'm going to do for this is I'm going to unroll it. And you don't want any of your mechanics showing, so you'll want to cover the stem up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here. I'm going to just start right here. Can you see that? I'm just going to start right here at the top. And I'm just going to pull in a downward motion. And I'm going to go around and around. So once you get this started and you get the hang of this, it's real easy. You can even hold the bottom. And I recommend this and pull down and just twist your flower this way. And it goes really nice. And now you've got a nice long stem. Can you see that? Sorry about that. A nice long stem. When it was this big, now it's this big, and you can definitely use this flower. Okay, so with this container right here, I was thinking I'm gonna do a very, very simple thing. I'm just gonna put um, this one down in here like that. And then I'm gonna put one over here like that. And this has the nice leaves on it right there. And then I have some of these um, that I cut off of this branch here. And I'm just going to put these down in there like that. And I got, it has some little berries on it. I'll just put a couple in there. And then I'll put one. What goes up, if you put something in the middle, you'll want to make a triangle. You put it in the middle, what goes up must always come down. So this is up. So we need to put one here and one here, okay? So we have one here. So we know we need to put one here. Because in floral design, we work in odd numbers and triangles okay and you'll hear me say that a lot I tell my class this all the time because it creates a nice balance so we got one here and then um, I might just add a tiny tiny pop of color somewhere just a oh maybe I have some color what in what you do on one side you want to do on the other side so I add a little bit of pop of color there and then uh, I feel like we need just a little bit more greenery and so another tip I want to tell you, when you're buying these, this branch is on here, right? Can you see how much uh, greenery is on there? It's got this, and sometimes they have eucalyptus, and but it has these orange and purple flowers that I don't want to use. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to snip that off, and I'm going to use it for something else because I can make a stem for it. But I'm going to take advantage of the greenery in it, okay? And that's a nice way to get a variety of greenery for your arrangements. I'm just going to snip these off because I'm not working with orange and purple right now. So I just snip that off. And can you see what a nice branch of greenery that I have? And I'm just going to go all around this container just filling this up and making a nice arrangement. 
just my whites and my greenery. And like, like this piece, um, you see how it has these spriggy things right here and the greenery, that makes it really nice. And these, like I said, you can save them, put a stem on them and use them for something else because we use everything. I always tell my class, buy high quality um, petals, like your flowers, when you're feeling them, if you hear that crunchy plastic sound, no, 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 no. Feel them and you wanna have nice soft petals, silk petals, they have to be really soft because then they look more realistic. When you're working with faux flowers, your goal is to make your arrangement look as real as possible. I've had people ask me about my arrangement. Oh, is that real? And it's, it's not, but they couldn't tell. So if you use good quality flowers and you use all the stems and you make stems for anything left over, you're using everything so you're not having waste. I do go to the Dollar Tree and I buy things like floral foam, I might buy a little bit of ribbon or um, tape or something like that, but for my flowers, I always get top quality, high quality Hobby Lobby, Michaels kind of flowers or order them on Amazon because um, I don't recommend Dollar Tree or Dollar General flowers because a lot of times they do have that plastic feel and that's my personal opinion, but you, I mean, you can use them and you can make them work, but maybe if you mix them with a couple of really nice ones, and in this arrangement, if I were, had it on my table and I had company coming, I might get those really large off-white roses and put it in a little, you've seen those little um, containers that uh, you put the real flowers in and you put a, two ounces of water and I just stick it right in there and have a real one and combine my real flowers with my faux flowers and make a lovely arrangement. Okay, so we're going to stop on that one for now. Okay. So now I wanted to show you guys, oh, my studio light is getting a little hot. Okay, so now the other thing that I do, let me wind this up. It's a good idea to keep your area a little bit clean because I call it the stress-free environment. But it is what it is, okay? So now um, I have this beautiful little, um, I am just in love with little teapots. I think they're just adorable. So I have this little teapot sitting around and I thought, well, oh my gosh, I have these colorful flowers. Surely I can make something with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut down my floral foam to fit into this container. And, I, and to do that, I just take a little knife and just kind of get it the size that I need it to go in there. Let me see if that'll fit. And then when you're putting your dry foam into your container, always leave about half to one inch so you can put flowers around the side, okay? It's important to remember that because um, sometimes you might want to put greenery around the side. Okay, and this stuff, when you're working with this stuff, it does have chemicals in there, and it is recommended that you, you shouldn't let, well, first of all, you shouldn't let children play with this, but always wash your hands with soap and water once you've, um, put your dry foam in, okay? And so that's what I'm gonna go do right now, wash my hands, I'll be right back. patiently waiting for me because you do have to practice what you preach is what they say right okay so we did that and I'm gonna clean up my space a little bit and I'm gonna show you how we make this beautiful faux teapot arrangement and then I'm gonna show you um, my uh, grapevine spring summer wreath that I had um, done and I added it I have a video for my uh, grapevine spring summer wreath and you can scroll down if you want to watch the full tutorial on that but i do have some tips on that i want to share with all of you let me just clean up this dry foam you can see here it does make quite a mess and i don't want to be getting that all over the place so i'm just going to sweep it off into the trash can and just keep my area nice and clean and organized like i said i do have a, a floral i have a facebook group it's called floral class with Kathy and Kathy is with a K, K-A-T-H-Y. So if all of you will go and join me there on May the 22nd, we're going to have uh, some drawings and some giveaways and that kind of thing. And everybody that supports me, that likes, shares, 
subscribes to my channel is going to be entered into the drawing for all the giveaways and you will be assigned a number and keep in mind if you are uh, subscribed to my youtube channel uh, beautiful blooms and your settings are say private or something maybe i can't see you just send me a private message and let me know that you are subscribed so i can't enter you into the all the giveaways on may 22nd happening in my facebook group floral class with kathy okay and that's going to be an exciting time so thank all of you for supporting me okay so that's pretty good pretty good pretty good okay so now uh, i'm going to pull out these out and kind of just look and see what i have i love to color coordinate my blooms before i start uh, designing it just gives me an idea of what I have, and then I can quickly decide what I'm going to do. See, I do have um, some pretty pink ones, and I'm going to make some. I have these pretty pink ones and these pretty white ones, which would actually be lovely in this as well. See, but today I'm going to be working with my yellow ones. So, but, the, I mean, that gives you another idea, whatever color your teapot is, with that beautiful um, sunflower. So I do have, um, I have this pretty sunflower and it has these little twigs on it. So this is going to be my focal point for my beautiful teapot, okay? <laughs> my dog is staring at me thinking I'm talking to myself. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> uh, mommy's okay. <laughs> All right, so I do have three. Remember how I said we work in threes and triangles in floral design? I have three yellow and I'm definitely going to use them. And this is like a these cute little um, pine, piney looking balls. Um, I can't, I forgot what they call these, but I love these, okay, and that's going to be like a filler thing, and like I said, the greenery, I'm going to use the greenery in this, but I don't need this purple uh, trio right here, so I'm just going to, oh, uh, excuse me, Grace, Grace just hit my camera, huh? I'm going to trim that off, and I'm going to use that, and I don't need these, um, these right here, so I'm going to trim those off, and I hope this gives you an idea how you can, um, if you don't need a color that's in your bunch, you can still use the greenery in that. I think that's a fantastic tip. And I will be using these white ones. <clears throat> and these white ones already have the beautiful greenery. Okay, and so if I wanna work in, um, you know, threes, triangles, and that sort of thing, or not necessarily threes, but odd numbers, you know, um, I separated my three yellow, and then I'm gonna get three of these white bunches and see I need one and I have it and they have these nice uh, shiny leaves here and I'm just gonna push the leaves up if I need to and then I'm just gonna trim this off I'm just gonna cut this at an angle always cut everything at an angle so now I have three yellow and I have three white and I have um, three fillers and let's see what else we might want to use I might need a little bit of greenery not very much because opening this on this is only like uh, two and a half inches so I don't need a lot of greenery but I might need an extra one because what you do on one side you do on the other side so if I put one of these spriggy pieces on this side I'm going to put one on that side also and also so if you work in triangles you could put one here here and there and make your triangle out of these and that would be really lovely and let's see that might be all that I'm going to put in here so I've just gathered these up I've gathered these up and these are going to go into my my little beautiful yellow yellow actually is my favorite color it's going to go into my beautiful yellow teapot and I'm going to clean my area up once again because I have a little bit more foam here on my tabletop and I think these are really pretty too the pink and, and the uh, fuchsia pink those, that would be look really pretty in your yellow teapot and this was just a very large stem. It was like a 30 inch stem I had left over for something from a, a quality bloom. So I'm gonna use this leaf on here and I'm definitely gonna be using the stem to make larger stems for other things. Okay. Okay. Now I know that when you're looking for your focal flower, you'll want you might want to, some arrangements are different, but generally you'll look for your biggest or your brightest uh, bloom. And so we can see here that that's gonna be my sunflower. So I'm gonna make this my focal flower, okay? And you can put it in the middle at the top, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right here. And I'm gonna cut that down. And I'm cutting it at an angle. And the tip is very sharp and it's going to go, and I'm gonna just go straight. You don't wanna put your flowers just straight up and down all around. You always wanna angle your flowers, okay? There we go. 
my goodness, that is like so darling already. And then I have, um, I have these beautiful flowers. And I think this is just so cute. So I'm going to kind of put these in in a triangle like we were talking about. And then um, when we get done doing this, and everything don't have to be the same height. And if you get leaves that are like this might be, for this arrangement, that might be sticking up a little bit too high. So never be afraid to just trim that off and at an angle if, it, if you feel like that's too much. You know, maybe you don't want it that much because you don't want it to take away from your beautiful sunflower. Okay, now all I'm doing now is I have my white ones. I'm going to put one in the middle. And those have beautiful little sunflowers in there. Okay, so what goes up must come down. So we need to make a triangle with this, okay? And uh, I'm, and this has a lot of uh, greenery on it. It's actually perfect. So what goes up must come down. So right now in this video, you know if this goes up and we are making the triangles, you know that this goes right here and one goes right here, right? So you don't really have to think about where everything goes once you get everything cut and laid out. So I'm going to put one right there. And that's already looking just so pretty. And now that I've put one there, I've got to put one here. Let me see if I have another one. I might have used it for these. Yes, I did. Okay. And this has a, this has a ton of greenery. I just wish all of you could see that up close, how much greenery this has on it. And these I'm going to put to the outside. And I put one here. So what goes up must come down. So I'm going to put one here and one in the back. And that's going to make my triangle. And then all I'm simply going to do is turn it, and I have one in the middle here. What goes up must come down, so I know I need one right here and one right here, okay, to finish off my triangle. So, um, this is just so easy and so fun. So fun. I just love this. All right, so what goes up must come down, so we know we need one right here. And you don't want any of your mechanics showing, okay? So now what we have... Where is my sunflower? Over here. Now what we have is a, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little, um, here's the handle, here's the little spout. We have this beautiful, beautiful little teapot here. Okay, and this is, has a perfect balance and it's arranged beautifully. And um, if you wanted to, I have this, uh, this, I'm sorry, this yellow polka dot ribbon and I could bring that in and put a little piece right here and that would be just darling. But, uh, and oh, and we did forget to put this one in there. So what I'm, it's a little tall, so I don't need that last one because it's gonna be too tall. So I'm just gonna cut this down at an angle and I'm gonna just put it right toward the center. And when you put that last piece in there, it feels so good. And if I actually, there's two balls on here. Actually, if I had another one of these with one ball, that would make three and I would definitely put it right there. But I don't, so. Okay, and this little, you might say, well, if your little teapot has a little a jar lid you don't want to get rid of this what you want to do is you might want to just go ahead it has a hole you see the hole it has in it right there you might want to just go ahead and attach it on the back so if anybody does take this apart then uh, and they want to use their teapot they would have the lid so never get rid of the lids but I think this is just adorable beautiful blooms okay so now I wanted to show you one other thing real quick and then we're going to talk about what else you can do with this big bunch of flowers, okay? I'm going to just take all that out of there like this. And you can do, I'm going to show you a, a hand tied technique that works every time. You can also do it with your real blooms that you get at the grocery store, okay? Alright, so we don't need this. We're done with our little adorable, adorable teapot here. Let me see which way does that go, like this. Okay, we're done with that. But you can see how if you have some little containers like that around the house and you get these, how you can design something very easily. And you'll have all your family and friends saying, wow, you're so talented. And yes, you are. And the number one thing is not to get frustrated. Just be confident in yourself and have a good attitude. And if it messes up, take it all apart. Watch five more videos and do it again. Just don't give up. The, the number one thing is don't give up. Everyone succeeds that they don't give up. Okay? All right. So now what I'm going to show you. Uh, once again, I get the blimps that I plan to use and I color coordinate those. And I just lay them out, and this gives me a really good guideline as to what I'm working with. 
and another thing is um i used to always joke oh well i'm just gonna wing it and literally most of my life i've been winging most everything that i do but i don't quite wing it as much as i used to because i'm not doing this all by myself i have a helper and his name is jesus and jesus helps me with everything because i cannot do anything by myself so if you're saying i don't know where to start i can't do it i have no talent well you do have the number one helper jesus and he will help you if you ask him to okay and then you'll be a total success at everything that you do or try to do because you're not doing it alone okay and it does take work on your part you know so put in the work ask jesus to help you and you're good to go all right so i have um the three of these you know how I like to work in odd numbers I have three white ones and I actually have five white ones which is pretty cool and, I, and that's odd number so I'm gonna actually use five of those and I have these um, these extra pieces of greenery and I have this little this little ball thing these little ball things well um, maybe I did have that third one to go in my arrangement I'll have to look for that okay so I'm gonna show you what we call a hand tied flower, a hand tied method to, for your flowers. Let me just clean up this area one more time. Okay. It does get, crafting does get pretty messy pretty quick, okay? So if you just, um, you know, just take your time and just clean it up, you'll be happier. I have this pretty pink polka dot ribbon on my uh, desk and I'm gonna be, um, putting together some of these pink flowers with this pink polka dot these pink flowers with this pink polka dot ribbon I'm gonna be making something a little later for that that's why I have that right there okay so oh I'm sorry I've got so much dust here that dry foam um, you might want to cut it on a different counter away from your workspace because um, as you can see I've had to clean it up like a couple times okay so now um, I have color coordinated these three, five, and some greenery. And um, let me see one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and some greenery. There we go. And if the st these stems are like, if you see that these stems are like at the bottom like that, all you have to do is push those up. Okay. And you could even put, get your hot glue gun out and you could hot glue around here if you wanted to. Yeah. I actually, I do have my, this is my wireless, um, uh, let me see what the name of this is, Sure Bonder. This is my wireless Sure Bonder uh, hot glue gun, and you can use this for up to two minutes without having it on the charger. So if these are falling down, you want to secure those, just go ahead and put a dot of glue around that. And then in just a few minutes, that will be bonded, okay? so. Now, we're going to do a, um, a hand-tied bouquet. So, to do your hand-tied bouquet, um, I kind of want this one to go in the front. So, I'm, you just lay the flower under your thumb and your forefinger loosely. And then you get your next one and you lay it at an angle. See, like I've laid that like that. Just lay it almost like a plus sign and then lift up a little bit. So, lay this in your hand. My hand's flat facing you. This is loosely under my thumb and lay it in a, like a cross sign and then lift it up a little bit and then put your thumb on it and you want to hold that okay and then uh, I've done two on this side I'm gonna do um, a piece of okay so I did a, a yellow and a white one I'm gonna do a piece of greenery and I'm put it in the cross sign and just lift it up I'm telling you that because it'll make it a little easier when you get started and then just lift it straight up and it's like that so now I've got these on the, the, the right side. So now I'm gonna put some on the left side. And since I have my yellow and my white one and my greenery, I'm going to put my, my yellow one right here under my, in a cross, just like making a cross and then raise it up. And then I've got all that in my hand. And then I'm gonna do some greenery and make the cross and lift it up slightly and hold, I'm holding all that. And now I wanna do a white one in the cross and hold it up. Now I'm going to bunch them all together and I'm going to make, I'm going to do a slight turn. I bunched them all together and I turned it. Okay. And now I can see that, uh, my, my focal flower, which is my sunflower is going to go right there. So I put that like that and I'm going to hold that. And then I'm going to make the cross and lift it slightly up and hold that. And then I'm going to do my greenery, make the cross and hold it up. 
and then I'm gonna turn it slightly. And then you can see I don't have anything on this side. So once I turn that, make my cross, make my cross. So it's the cross is like straight down and straight across. So there's my cross and lift it up like that. Put it under my finger. And then I have another piece of greenery. I'm gonna put it right there. And I have, and then I'm gonna uh, turn it and hold it and see I have an opening right here. So I, I'm gonna make the cross and go up. Okay. So now. You can see that I have made a beautiful hand-tied bouquet. Is that not pretty? And and I have a lot of these sticking up, and I might not want those sticking up so far. And then you can just kind of adjust it. And these are bendable, so if you need to bend these down, maybe they're because you don't want your flowers crowding each other. They all need space. It, flowers and people and everything and everybody needs space, right? So remember that. But I don't like all these at the top right here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to um, clip those down at an angle like this. And I might clip some of them completely off because that's way too many. I don't need that many. There we go. And then I might just adjust them like that. Okay, so I mean this is friggy out and that's nice. Okay, so there you have a beautiful hand-tied bouquet, and uh, this is a lot of fun to do with fresh flowers, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial uh, hand-tied bouquet for a beautiful fresh flower arrangement also, but this just gives you an idea of something else that you can do with this bunch of flowers that you paid $7.20 for if it was 40% off at your craft store, okay? So uh, that's the second thing that you can do. You can put it in either one of the white container or your... Um, teapot or you can make a hand tied bouquet and you can do it also with uh wouldn't it be pretty with the pink and the purple and the the pink and the, the pink you could do it also in that there's so many colors you can do so many things with this one bunch i highly recommend that you get one and try something okay all right so now i want to show you something else I'm clean up my work area hope everybody's doing great today don't forget if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and go to Floral Class with Kathy, K-A-T-H-Y, because on May the 22nd, we will be having giveaways in honor of my new YouTube channel at Beautiful Blooms, and it's, my channel is Beautiful Blooms by Floral Class with Kathy, okay? So, I'm going to clean up my workspace one more time, okay? But you can see, like, there are just so many blooms on this one branch, you can do so much with it at... at economical seven dollars and twenty cents and you get i counted them one time and it was like 16 16 pieces of florals on that one branch so i highly recommend if you're a beginner you go get you one of those and make something and if you do put it in the comments because i would or send me a message i would love to see anything and everything that you make and if you have any questions for me i'm always happy to answer them for you all right so i don't think i'm going to be needing my glasses right now I did actually forget to put my headphone on today, but I don't think I need it. I'm going to see if all of you can hear me okay. The next thing that I did with my beautiful blooms was I made a darling, darling, this is so darling, a spring summer wreath, okay? And I used my, I have a full, I do have a full uh, video tutorial on my uh, grapevine spring summer wreath so you'll want to scroll down to see that to see how to do it because it's very easy I call this my layer and zip method I lay my flowers out I zip them together and then I zip them onto my grapevine wreath and this uh, yellow polka dot uh, ribbon is just adorable with this one and so the only finishing touches I want to put onto this one is um, I wanted to get my hot glue gun and I wanted to get um, another yellow flower. Let's see. Okay, um, let me put one more on there. Let's just put this one on there, for example. I'm just gonna um, cut this down oh, just a little bit and then I'm gonna put this on there. And this is gonna fit, I'm cutting it at an angle. Uh, just get in the habit, cut everything at an angle, okay? And then I'm just going to put some hot glue here. Uh, these were all zipped in, but I'm adding this little piece. So that's the only reason I'm putting the hot glue and just uh, putting it in there for you. Because I was just going to show you the finishing touches on this. Okay. And I have these where they will bend. And I want to tell you the reason. I don't have my bow very secure. Let me see. I just have some on the back of my bow here. 
I tied it with my wire because I made this with my, see the wire, I tied it uh, with my, I made it with my Bodabra. So I have some wire on here and I haven't tied it yet. So to do that, you just go around, just lift it where you want it, and then just twist the back of your wire. That's what you do with that, okay? And then you can just kind of get your tails down and just fluff it up, okay? I just think this is adorable. I think it's just so darling, so darling. And then I put this last one here. But I want to tell you why I think this is a perfect, perfect form and design, okay? Remember how I told you that we work in threes and odd numbers, or well, I keep saying threes, but we work in odd numbers, triangles, and that sort of thing, and I do this a lot in my designs because it provides such a nice balance. But see, I have the white flower, I have one, two, and then I have this pink fuchsia one here, right here, three. So I consider that three. And then for my roses, let me see, where's, okay, I have one, two, three, okay? And now for my, my big uh, pink daisy, it actually has the yellow in the middle, so I might hot glue that back so that all of you will be able to see the yellow in that. But for my pink one, I have one, two, and then I have um, some pink, I have one, two, and I really need to, oh, yeah, this one, yes. Okay, so this one substitutes for that one. So I have one, two, three, one, two, three with my beautiful mini roses. My yellow, I have one, two, yes, my yellow, I have one, two, three. Okay, do you see how I have, I've worked in threes in this? And this has made this like a, a just an absolutely perfect piece designer wise and I think it's really pretty so don't forget to go to my um, go to my YouTube video um, spring summer um, grapevine wreath and then this is a 14 inch wreath right here it's a much smaller one but there we have it uh, so I hope that you will be encouraged and you will go out to your craft store and you'll get some stuff and come home and see what you can put together Best of luck to you, and remember, don't give up, okay? Bye-bye.